राधे 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 जय 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 श्री राधे 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 जय 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 श्री राधे 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 जय 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 श्री राधे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 विच वर्ड डू यू टुडे श्रुयमाणा कृष्णे परम पुषे भक्तिपद्यते पुंसा शोक मोह भयापहाचर वै सटनली श्रूयमाणायाम सिंपली बाय गिविंग ऑरल रिसेप्शन कृष्णे अंड टू लॉर्ड कृष्ण परम सुप्रीम पुरुषे अंड टू द पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड एड भक्ति फीलिंग्स ऑफ डिवोशनल सर्विस उत्पद्यते स्प्राउट ऑफ पुंसा ऑफ द लिविंग बीइंग श्लोक लैमेंटेशन मोह इल्यूजन by a fearfulness apaha that which extinguishes simply by giving oral reception to this very literature the feelings for loving devotional service to lord krishna the supreme personality of godhead sprouts up at once to extinguish the fire of lamentation illusion and fearfulness there are different senses of which the ear is the most effective this sense works even when a man is deep asleep one can protect himself from the hands of an enemy while awake but while asleep one is protected by the ear only the importance of hearing is mentioned here in the connection with the attaining the highest perfection of life namely getting free from material pains everyone is full of lamentation at every moment he is after the mirage of illusory things and is always afraid of his supposed enemy these are the primary symptoms of material disease and it is definitely suggested here in that simply by hearing the message of shrimad bhagavatam one gets attachment for the supreme personality of god is shri krishna and as soon as this is affected by the symptoms of the material diseases as soon as this is affected the symptoms of the material disease disappear so the vasudev saw the all perfect personality of god is, and in this statement the all perfect personality of god shri krishna is clearly confirmed the ultimate result of devotional service is to develop genuine love for the supreme personality love is the word which is often used in relation with a man and woman and love is the only word that can be properly used to indicate the relation between lord krishna and the living entity the living entities are mentioned as prakriti in the bhagavad gita and in sanskrit prakriti is a feminine object The Lord is always described as the Parama Purusha or the supreme male personality. Thus, the affection between the Lord and the living entity is something like that between the male and the female. Therefore, the term "love of God" is quite appropriate. Loving devotion or service to the Lord begins with hearing about the Lord. There is no difference between the Lord and the subject matter heard about Him. The Lord is absolute in all respects, and thus there is no difference between Him. and the subject matter heard about him. therefore hearing about means immense contact with him means immediate contact with him by the process of vibration of the and the general sound is so effective it acts at once by removing all material affections mentioned above as mentioned before a living entity develops a sort of complexity by material association and the illusory entanglement of the material body is accepted as the as an actual fact under such false complexity the living beings under different categories of life become illusioned in different ways 
even in the most developed stage of human life the same illusion prevails in the form of many isms and divides the loving relation with the lord and thereby divides the loving relation between man and man by hearing the subject matter of shrimad bhagavatam this false complexity of materialism is removed and real peace in society begins which polit- which politicians aspire for so eagerly in so many political situations the politicians want a peaceful situation between man and man and nation and nation but at the same time because of because of too much attachment for material dominion domination there is illusion and fearfulness therefore the politicians peace conferences cannot bring about peace in society it can only be done by hearing the subject matter described in the shrimad bhagavatam about the supreme personality of god shri krishna the foolish politicians may go on holding peace and summit conferences for hundreds of years but they will fail to achieve success until we reach the stage of reestablishing our lost relation with krishna the illusion of accepting the body as the self will prevail and thus fearfulness will also prevail as for the validity of shri krishna as the supreme personality of god is there are hundreds and thousands of evidences from personal experiences of devotees in various places like vrindavan navadvip and puri even in the kaumudi dictionary the, syn- the synonyms of krishna are given as the son of yashoda and the supreme personality of god or brahma so conclusion is that simply by hearing the vedic literature shrimad bhagavatam man can have direct connection with the supreme personality of god and shri krishna and thereby one can attain the highest perfection of life by transcending worldly miseries illusion and fearfulness these are practical tests for one who has actually given a submissive hearing to the readings of shrimad bhagavatam here x8 sa samitam bhagavati krutvan ukramya chatmajam shukam adhyapayam asa nivrutti niratam muni sa samitam bhagavati krutvan ukramya chatmajanam chatmajam shukam adhyapayam asa asa nivrutti niratam muni saha that samhita vedic literature bhagavatim in relation with the personality of godhead krutva having done anukramya by correction and repetition cha and atmajam his own soul shukam shukadeva goswami adhyapayam asa taught nivrutti that of self realization niratam engaged muni the sage the great sage vyasadeva after compiling shrimad bhagavatam and revising it taught it to his own son shri shukdev goswami who was already engaged in self realization shrimad bhagavatam is the natural commentation of the brahma sutra compiled by the same author the brahma sutra or vedanta sutra is meant for those who are already engaged in self realization shrimad bhagavatam is so made that one becomes at once engaged in the path of self realization simply by hearing the topics although it is especially meant for the paramahamsas or those who are totally engaged in self realization it works into the depths of the hearts of those who may be worldly men worldly men are all engaged in a sense gratification but even such men will find in this vedic literature a remedial measure so here you see that um shrimad bhagavatam um the natural commentary is there huh? So, but even such men will find in this vedic literature a remedial measure for their material diseases shukadev goswami was a liberated soul from the very beginning of his birth and his father taught him shrimad bhagavatam 
amongst mundane scholars there is some diversity of opinion as to the date of compilation of shrimad bhagavatam it is however certain from the text of the bhagavatam that it was compiled before the disappearance of king parikshit and after the departure of lord krishna when marat parikshit was ruling the world as the king of bharatvarsha he chastised the personality of kali according to revealed astrological calculations the age of kali is in its 5000 year therefore shrimad bhagavatam was compiled not less than 5000 years ago mahabharat was compiled before shrimad bhagavatam and the puranas were compiled before mahabharat that is an estimation of the date of compilation of the different vedic scriptures very literatures the synopsis of shrimad bhagavatam was given before the detailed description under the instruction of narad shrimad bhagavatam is the science for following the path of nirvrti marga the path of rokti marga was condemned by narad that path is the natural inclination for all conditioned souls the theme of shrimad shrimad bhagavatam is the cure of the materialistic disease of the human being or stopping completely the pangs of material existence govind jay jay gopal jay jay radha radha hari krishna 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 hari गोविंद जय जय गोपाल जय जय गोपाल गोविंद क्षण उवाच सब निवृत्ति निरता सर्वेक्षको मुनि उपेक्षक समबेशन एंजॉयमेंट or those who are fixed in material bodily welfare work are called karmis out of thousands and millions of such karmis one may become an atmaram by self realization atma means self and aram means to take pleasure everyone is searching after the highest pleasure but the standard of pleasure of one may be different from the standard of another therefore the standard of pleasure enjoyed by the karmis is different from the from that of The atma rams, the atma rams are completely indifferent to material enjoyment in every respect. The atma rams are completely indifferent to material enjoyment in every respect. Shri Shuddha Goswami had already attained that stage, and still he was attracted to undergo the trouble of studying the great Bhagavatam literature. This means that Shri Bhagavatam is a Most graduate study, even for the Atmarams, who has surpassed all the studies of Vedic knowledge. 
शुद्ध वाच आत्माश मुनयो निर्ग्रंथाप्युरुक्रमे सर्विस such wonderful ganaha qualities hari of the lord all different varieties of atmarams those who take pleasure in atma or spirit self especially those established on the path of self realization go free from all kinds of material bondage desire to render unalloyed devotional service unto the personality of god this means that the lord possesses transcendental qualities and therefore can attract everyone including liberated souls Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explained this Atmaram Shlok very vividly before his chief devotee Shri Sanatan Goswami. He points out eleven factors in the shloka, namely Atmaram, Munaya, Nirgantha, Api, Cha, Urukrama, Purvanti, Aitukim, Bhaktim, Ten, and Ittam Bhuta Guna. And eleven. According to the Vishnu Prakash Sanskrit Dictionary, there are seven synonyms for the word Atmaram. Which are as follows: Number one, Brahman, the absolute truth, body, mind, endeavor, endurance, intelligence, and personal habits. The word Munaya refers to number one, those who are thoughtful; number two, those who are grave and silent; number three, ascetics; number four, the persistent; number five, mendicants; number six, sages; number seven, saints. The word Nirgrantha conveys this idea. Number one, one who is liberated from nations, and number two, one who has no connection with scriptural injunction. That is, who is freed from the obligation of the rules and regulations mentioned in the real scriptures like ethics, Vedas, philosophy, psychology, and metaphysics. In other words, the fools, illiterate, archins, etc., who have no connection with regulative principles. Number three, a capitalist, and also number four, one who is penniless. According to the Shabda Kosh Dictionary, the affix ni is used in the sense of certainty. Number two, counting. Number three, building, and number four, forbiddance. And the word grantha is used in the sense of wealth, thesis, vocabulary, etc. The word urukrama means the one whose activities are glorious. Krama means the the word urukrama. Specifically indicates the Lord Incarnation as Vaman, who covered the whole universe by impersonal, by immeasurable steps. Lord Vishnu is powerful. His activities are so glorious that he has created the spiritual world by his internal potency, and the material world by his external potency, by his all-pervading features. He is everywhere present as the supreme truth, and in his personal feature, he is always present in his transcendental abode, Golok Vrindavan, where he displays his transcendental pastimes in all variegatedness. His activities cannot be compared to anyone else, and therefore the word Urukrama is just applicable to him only. According to the Sanskrit verb, 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 language, Purvanti refers to doing things for someone else. Therefore, it means that the Atma Rama renders the devotional service unto the Lord, not for personal interest but for the pleasure of the Lord. Urukrama. Hetu means causal. There are many causes for one's sense gratification, sense satisfaction, and they can be chiefly classified as material enjoyment, mystic powers, and liberation, which are generally desired by progressive persons. As far as material enjoyments are concerned, they are innumerable, and the materialists are eager to increase. They more and more because materials are very eager to increase them more and more and, and because they under the new energy, there is no end to the list of material enjoyments. Nor can anyone in the material universe have all of them. As far as um, the mystic powers are concerned, there are eight in all. As such, to become the minutest in the form, 
to become weightless, to have anything one desires, to lord it over the material nature, to con to control other living beings, to throw earthly globes in outer space, etc. These mystic powers are mentioned in the Bhagavatam. The forms of liberation are five in number. Therefore, unalloyed devotion means service to the Lord without a desire for the above mentioned personal benefit. And uh, all powerful personality of God is Sri Krishna can be fully satisfied by such unalloyed devotees free from all sorts of desires for personal benefits. Unalloyed devotional service of the Lord progresses in different stages. Practice of devotional service in the material field is of 81 different qualities and above such qualities is a transcendental practice of devotional service which is one and is called sadhan bhakti. When more unalloyed practice of sadhan bhakti is matured into transcendental love for the Lord, the transcendental loving service of the Lord begins gradually developing into nine progressive stages of loving service under the he he headings of attachment, love, affection, feeling, affinity, adherence, following ecstasy and intense feelings of separation. The attachment for an inactive devotee develops uh, the attachment of an inactive devoted God. Attachment of an active servitor develops up to the stage of adherence and that for a friendly devotee develops up to the stage of following. And the same is also the case for the paternal devotee. Devotees in conjugal love develop ecstasy up to the stage of intense feelings of separation. Uh, these are some of the features of unalloyed devotional service of the Lord. According to Hari Bhakti Sudhode, the import of the word is complete bliss. Transcendent and the realization of impersonal Brahman comparable to the scanty water contained in the pit made by a cow's heap. It is nothing compared to the person of bliss of the vision of the personality of Godhead. The personal form of Lord Sri Krishna is so attractive that it complements all attraction, all bliss, and all taste. These attractions are so strong that no one wants to exchange them for material enjoyment powers and liberation. There is no need of logical arguments in support of this statement, but out of one's own nature, one becomes attracted by the qualities of Lord Sri Krishna. We must know for certain that the qualities of the Lord have nothing to do with mundane quality. All of them are full of bliss, knowledge and eternity. There are innumerable qualities of the Lord and one is attracted by one quality while another is attracted by another. Great sages such as the four bachelor devotees, Sanak, Sanatan, Sanandan, Sanat Kumar, were attracted by the fragrance of flowers and tulsi leaves anointed with the pulp of sandalwood offered to the lotus feet of the Lord. Similarly, Shukdeva Goswami was attracted by the transcendental pastimes of the Lord. Shukdeva Goswami was already situated in the liberative stage, yet he was attracted by the pastimes of the Lord. This proves that the quality of his pastimes has nothing to do with material affinity. Similarly, the young covered dancers were attracted by the bodily features of the Lord and the Buddha was attracted by hearing about the glories of the Lord. Lord Krishna attracts even the mind of the goddess of fortune. He attracts in special places the minds of all young girls, the minds of the elderly ladies by parental affection. He attracts the mind of the male in humors of service and friendship. There is a very nice information. The word Hari conveys various meanings, but the chief import of the word is that He, the Lord, vanquishes everything inauspicious and takes away the mind of the devotee by awarding pure transcendental love. By remembering the Lord in acute distress, one can be free from all varieties of miseries and anxieties. Gradually, the Lord vanquishes all obstacles on the path of devotional service of a pure devotee. And the result of nine devotional activities, such as hearing and chanting, becomes manifested. By his personal features and transcendental attributes, the Lord attracts all psychological activities of a pure devotee. Such is the attractive power of Lord Krishna. 
the attraction is so powerful that a pure devotee never hankers for any of the four principles of religion. These are the attractive features of the transcendental attributes of the Lord. And adding to this, the words happy and sure, one can increase the imports unlimitedly. According to Sanskrit grammar, there are seven synonyms for the word api. So by interpreting each and every word of this sloka, one can see unlimited number of transcendental qualities of Lord Krishna that attract the mind of a pure devotee. So tomorrow we'll discuss the text number 11, huh? 1.7.11. Huh? Thank you so much. Sure, Maharaj. Thank, Thank you. you. Anchakal Patri Vesha Krupa Sindhu Vesha Paritanam Pavane Pyo Vesha 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 Vesha